Hello everyone and welcome to the Eternal Cylinder. If you are new to this game, I've played it a fair bunch in the past, both in live streams and let's plays. I really, really enjoyed it. It's a really cool story-based game with evolution mechanics, it's got puzzles, it's got a wonderful story, and it's really interesting alien designs and creatures, which bear a bit of resemblance to Spore. Uh, in fact, I've made a lot of these in Spore. In fact, I've made this entire environment in Spore. Um, it's really cool and I just really like this game. I've been looking for an excuse to play it again. And as it turns out, I have one because it has been released on Steam, which I know many of you wanted in the past. A lot of you weren't a fan of the Epic exclusive and I don't blame you. It's now available on Steam for a very decent price as well. It's available in 4K graphics quality and it looks stunning. I'd really recommend checking it out. It's got a couple of new creatures compared to when we last saw it. And my favorite to my point of these videos, it's got achievements and I am a slut for achievements in Steam. I am definitely going to be going through these achievements. Though that being said, um, as it turns out that when I first loaded my game, it somehow synced with my epic playthrough. I'm impressed and confused. So I've already gotten a bunch of the achievements. I'm still going to re-earn a bunch though for the sake of these videos because it'd be boring if I just did like the remaining ones left. And yeah, overall, just enjoy this game all over again. Now I must state, if you want to see like a proper let's play of this, of the story, uh, what's going on, like some proper gameplay mechanics and just show everything off, please go watch back my let's play series. I cover everything in a nice timely manner. It's really fun and immersive, but not terribly long either. I have a lot of fun playing it. Whereas for this run, I'm just going to kind of be speeding along things a little bit. Um, I need some more crack dust before I can get you. Good old crack dust, I wonder if anyone remembers what that is. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one feature of this game is the acquisition of mutations. I can eat things uh, found various in the world, consume them, and transform. And now I've got big hoppity legs. Now then, in regards to the actual obtaining of achievements, we are here in chapter one. And there is one achievement I technically already have, but I can earn again very, very quickly. And I must find a Tonkle Groplet. Now, like I mentioned, this is one achievement I do have, but let's go ahead and pretend I don't already have it. That right there is one achievement, a frightened, a Tonkle Groplet using the Dymatic Trunk. Let's go ahead and do it again with this other guy for good measure. Haha, <laughs> you definitely frightened now. So scary. Now, a different achievement I actually don't have is to spray water into the eye of an Omnigron. I'm surprised. I've, I've actually never done that. So let's go ahead then and do that. Oh, it's actually kind of difficult. But to get oh, no, never mind. I got it. <laughs> he kept closing his eye, but I got it. Excellent. I got the eye drops achievement. Now, another achievement I do technically already have, but still going to re-earn is to get every single mutation. And there are two right here, and that is the Wide Boy and the Swimming Feet. And so far, that already nets us at four total mutations in this playthrough. We've only just gotten started. That is the Dramatic Trunk, the Hoppity Legs, the Swimming Legs, and the Wide Body. Hello there, friend. You are Gogwon. Oh, this is new. So I did see something new then. It now shows you the limits of your family. That's a really nice touch compared to the epic playthrough. So now you actually know what your limit is. Now, another mutation is actually to get this little colorful sparkly thing from this snail over to my right, but I can't let it see me first. I need to lull it into a full sense of security. Therefore, it leaves the shell open and exposed and I can grab the pearl inside. Oh, look at it, look at it. It's finally, one of them's finally opened. I've been sat here for quite a while now. Waiting for it to get quite far away. Oh no, it's gonna go back quickly. Let's see if I can grab it first. And, oh, quick little obligatory note, but otherwise, yeah, that took a while, but I got one. Hooray, I got one. Let's go ahead then and just eject you out, crack it open. Oh, wait, take it, give it back. There we go, and eat it. And now I'm shiny, I have the iridescent skin. I've also just spotted another one. So there are also these little tiny glick balls. Oh, I just saw one, where was it? Oh, there they are. So there's also these here as well. Can I do this now? I'd have to wait till later. I don't think I can do it now, actually. So these ones, you can break open their membranes, but not now, it seems. No, not yet. Uh, this one actually has a negative mutation I can grab, but not yet, apparently. Um, actually, I have a theory. There we go. Oh, it did a lot of damage, but that actually worked immediately. And now I've got the glick ball exposed. 
I'm gonna eat it, which actually healed me up as well. <laughs> and that is another mutation done. Look at that, I've lost my legs. I've got no legs, that is the eyes, little legs. Oh, I love that. Thankfully, it is temporary. But hey, I'm pretty sure this counts towards the achievement. Now, one more thing while I am still here. I've noticed I have infinite stamina and I'm not really sure why. Uh, maybe because I'm still technically in the tutorial phase. Uh, don't know, not gonna argue, but there is this arctic biome here. Now the arctic biome for the new players or the new viewers is meant to be a chapter 2 area, but there's a little bit of it here in chapter 1. And there are a couple of mutations I can get, I can see one right now which I'm gonna quickly grab now, because the arctic does actually do frost damage. Let's go ahead then and change trebons, I will move this one to a different one. And consume that it'll cover a skin in fluffy fur which will then also grow to the rest of my family because that makes sense somehow and that protects me against the arctic and this is great because i'm looking for a very specific creature although before i do that uh hey here's another mutation and again while i'm here could i grab that there we go there hey here's a fluffy omnigrom let's spray some water in your eye oh hello little random trebon down here. Let's go ahead and we may as well adopt you as well. Got home. You are now family. You are now friend. So usually in the Arctic biome, or at least in chapter two, there is one little creature that gives you the analytical eye mutation, and that is one that I'm looking for at the moment, but I cannot find it anywhere. Uh, maybe it is only a chapter two spawn. It would have been great if I could have gotten it now because the analytical eye is actually part of one achievement I don't have that appears to be the hardest one to get of all and the sooner I can grab it the better. But I'm not seeing it anywhere which is such a shame because it would have been so great to have it now but I think it's time to finally move on and actually get on with the game itself. So some mutations in this game are required to actually progress through the story such as this little square shaped one here by interacting with this little statue It'll both give me the information for said mutation, as well as open the gates over here to actually obtain it. And sometimes there's also little puzzles and discoveries to be found as well, which can contain extra mutations or extra things in general. In this case, uh, oh, what do we have in here actually? In this case, I do have an extra mutation. Now, this is one I like to call the Minecraft Grass Block. Ooh, okay, opportunity. Uh, this is for an achievement I actually haven't gotten. So, gonna wait for this guy to land in his nest, if it's going to at all, actually. Or maybe I've triggered it too soon. Okay, good. I sat in a stealth bush, which is causing it to retreat back to its nest. And now the actual achievement itself is to spray water into its mouth. Which, uh... Yeah, I've never done this before. I've got no idea how difficult it is. I don't want to fly away, so I'm doing this a bit, uh, sporadically. I'm really... Oh, actually, it stuns it, in a way. Oh mate, right in the mouth. It, it's landing in your mouth repeatedly. It's getting there. How is that not in its mouth? Oh, oh, there, there it is. I got it. <laughs> what a strange achievement. All right then. Well, I mean, I'm not going to complain. So I've just beaten the cylinder to the next tower and I believe I see some more arctic biome. Oh, and of course a whole bunch of uh, green fog. There is more arctic biome. Oh, I wonder if I can find the creature then. Oh, but meanwhile, I did just spot one of these. Go ahead and switch you over to Gotome, eat you, and that is another mutation. So while I had this new mutation, this is part of another achievement that again I have completed but will still be doing, and that is to consume over 100 various resources. So what I'm going to do then is quickly consume my inventory. And now I have 30 total items. Now it does process its own food automatically, but, but just for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and put down another 30 in this inventory inventory and we can consider that 30 done. Now I do notice it's not eating automatically, normally it does, so maybe this is another change of the game. Uh, possibly because I got full hydration, we'll just keep an eye on that, but we can see it's a clean 30, we'll see what happens. Meanwhile I did also find a cave, and caves are a good source of new things. Haha, such as this wonderful thing. This is yet another mutation and one of my favorite ones. This one is the mineral processor and it's also tied to another achievement, which is to process over 100 minerals. And we can see so far I've got five in total. Actually, make that more. Ah, oh, here we go then. So while it's processing the minerals, you can see the water one is trying to do its thing. I think it is a new change to do with hydration where it will no longer extract more than is needed, but cool again, we can see it's all tens. It'll be a nice and clean count. So let's go check out the arctic biome then and see if there's anything more that I can find. Is that a Rundeslock? Wait, what? That it? You're not supposed to see those until chapter four. I'm in chapter one. Wow, that's new and different. 
Wow, that's really strange. I had no idea that could happen. You know, I wonder. This is so unlikely to work, but since I got this guy following me, and the Runterslock appears to be inactive, could I kill it with that? There's no way, right? There's, there's no way. That's gotta be a bug. Right, there we go then. Crush. Well, it landed, but it didn't kill it. Oh, well, I just killed my entire family. That's <laughs> unfortunate. Well, I raised three of them, but uh, yeah, no, this, this isn't happening. That's so strange. Well, I didn't get to find the creature I need in the end. However, just for the sake of consistency, I am adding another 30 items into the water extractor. Okay, yeah, just to confirm, this definitely is linked to the hydration total. Okay, that's another six minerals. And that's another mutation I've gotten from a chest. And for one final quick one in here, we have the third eye mutation. I found a cave. And there's nothing new inside it. So I've made it to the first upgrade shrine and these tend to have a lot of mineral shards. So that right there is another 52. That already brings us over halfway of our goal. Now, if you're wondering why I'm counting these in the list before they're actually processed, it's because whenever I'm in an upgrade shrine, I actually do tend to AFK and let them process. So it's a guarantee, bit of progress to the achievement. Whereas the water one, I'll admit that one is different. However, as you can see, it's already gone through 10 automatically. All I have to do is sit back and hold right click for a long time, spray some water, and it'll also make progress. So it's safe to say that these little updates are somewhat accurate. It would be far too much of a hassle to manually update progress on every single tick. Plus, I already had the achievement anyway, so I can't really prove it regardless. Right, and that is the last bit of mineral now processed along with basically all of the food I put into the water one. So yeah, that's a good bit of progress for the 30 water and the 50, 60 odd minerals. Now, in terms of levels, uh, surprisingly, there actually isn't an achievement for uh, maximizing your skills, which I actually find very, very surprising. But for bragging rights, I actually have maxed out health, stamina, and family in the past. Hmm, those are mutations in there. Let's quickly grab some. Go ahead and eat that one and that is yet another mutation now speaking of mutations it is time to lose all of them and this is why i'm always so efficient with my mineral processor you never know when you're gonna lose it hey hey it is time for another story progression based mutation it is the filter trunk used to breathe through poisonous gases yo it's another cave oh what's that little thing in the middle oh it's just the dramatic trunk that's nothing new and that's inside the next shrine, we have not one, but two new mutations. I also got the mineral processing mutation back, along with five new mineral cubes. So now I have another 42 various minerals. Now let's say I were to wait around and let these 30 process. I think it is safe to say that this achievement is completed because look at how fast these ones are grinding down. And I'm only just halfway through chapter one. So over the course of the entire game, you can see how easy this one is. You know, I've played this game multiple times. I don't think I've ever actually found this sort of spot before. But now with a second mineral processor, we can really and truly guarantee that achievement absolutely completed. So I've skipped a little bit ahead because there hasn't been any new mutations to show. However, I did add another 10 units of food to the water processor. And now I bring you to here because I do see a new achievement to complete. And that is to deactivate 10 sentinels, which are these flying hands. I think they're called sentinels. So first of all, Let's go ahead then and deactivate one, if I can reach it. How How do you not see me? Okay, here's a sentinel showing the yellow light, meaning that it's uh, a bit safer than the red ones earlier. Let's wait for it to detect me. How have you not seen me, bro? Come on, mate. You're doing a very good job of keeping an eye out. Okay, seriously, how has the signal seen me? Okay, well, there you go then, there's one. I'm not sure if deactivating the same one multiple times counts, because again, I've already done the achievement, but I'm gonna try find another two. Okay, here I do believe is another one, as the previous one turned red, so I think it's safe to say this is a new one. And that's not good. Well, at least it finally sees me. Come here, mate. And that's two out of three done. Let's see if I can find a third one. Oh, there we go. There is a third one right there. Let's go ahead and get up all in its face, see me immediately, which is much easier, and there is three out of three sentinels deactivated by spraying water on their faces. Nice and easy. 
And now it is time for another progression based mutation, and that is the inflatable body mutation. Also, one of my favorites for my ability. And thus, we reach the end of chapter one. In the end, I earned five achievements and learned, I believe, about 20 mutations. Now, I could have gone for six achievements immediately if I went for the water processor one, but like I said earlier, that's kind of just holding right click and just waiting for your water to drain and feeding it more food, so I don't really fancy doing that in this video. It's just going to earn itself over the course of time, but otherwise, every other achievement, I'm quite happy we got to do that so quickly. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in the story of this game, do check out my Let's Play series because that covers it in detail. However, in terms of achievement and mutation hunting, I would say that I am done for today. So thank you all very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy your own achievement hunting shenanigans. And as always, I'll see you all next time in Chapter 2. Thank you and have a wonderful day.